Hi, I'm Matthew with No Hat Few, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> we rockin', big boys talking. Got my Nikes on, John's crockin'. Crockin', It might be shocking, but it's just big boys talking. Turkey's blockin', big boys talking. Apple sausage, big boys talking. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Maddie Light. And I'm, I'm, Big, I'm Big John. <laughs> and this is Big, Big Buzz Talking Podcast. John Poop did it. Took a lot out of it. Oh my gosh. And it is. I see P now. April 21st. Yeah, happy uh, random drug test day, everyone. <laughs> I oh, that's funny. I stayed home. Bop, 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 bop. Clap, clap. Ha, ha. Yeah, man, I'm like all oh, like 421, still blazing. <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome. That's rock. that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Rock on, rock on, rock on with you, rocking on. Yeah. Uh, buddy, how was, how was your holidays? I was, I didn't know, really, I'm poor right now. I heard that. So, it was cool. I, I worked, and then I went home, and we watched wrestling. Yeah! And it was cool. It, it was, was very fun. good. We got to watch two old people wrestle. CM Punk and Dustin Rhodes. That was nuts. And they had a, a very, like, I feel like, is Dustin Rhodes, like, maybe gonna dip out soon? He's in his, he's like 53 mm -hmm. and he's been wrestling for like over 30 years. Yeah. So I would say he's probably hanging up the, I think the only thing that was keeping him there in general was his brother. That makes sense. And now that Cody's, Cody's in WWE gone, yeah. and like Dustin has made it very clear he will never go back to WWE because mm -hmm. of the way they treated him. So I, I think that at the end of their match, uh, you didn't get to watch it, did you? Or did you? Watch I watched that match. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only match I missed was, uh, uh, the the six man tag match. Yes, Blackpool Combat Club, which is badass, by the way. Very cool. Brian Danielson, John Moxley, Moxley. and uh, uh, Yuta being part. Of, dude, the push they're giving Yuta right now makes me incredibly happy. That's how you do it, buddy. You take somebody. That's that, how you do it, buddy. Nobody knows. And he's been doing squash matches. He hadn't been winning a match. They put a Ring of Honor belt on him. <coughs> and they put him in a freaking faction with two of the best wrestlers ever from this generation. Oh, yeah. Boom. Start him, baby. Bow. That's how you do it. Um, yeah. Now, Dustin and, and CM Punk had some, uh, like, had some pretty heartfelt. It was like a moment at the end where I was like, oh, man. I wonder if that's. I wonder if this is, like, maybe one of the last matches Dustin and CM Punk are going to have together. I think so. Yeah, because he was, like, stiff as a board. Yeah, when he cut, cut that promo, he was talking about it. And I really thought he hurt his knee. I really wasn't sure if that was I'm not sure that he didn't hurt his not. knee because he was hobbling pretty hard the whole time. Right. And if, if it was a spot, he did a... He did a bang up job selling it because I thought he was hurt. Uh, yeah, that was good. And the announcement of uh, the Forbidden Door pay per view, boy. Good lord, we got all these dudes from New Japan coming. Oh, and the fact that Bullet Club is going to be involved, dude. Crazy. This is litter. It's going to be insane. And I'm pretty sure Kenny Omega is going to show up. Could you imagine? Because I think I see four everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I think he's finally like cleared to wrestle again. Nice. I've seen rumors of it um, and they've teased his return for a little bit now because yeah. uh, uh, Don Callis keeps coming out and like talking about Kenny Omega. And now it's they're thinking that it's going to be the super elite versus the Bullet Club. And members that had got kicked from the Bullet Club are back in, like the Good Brothers. Yeah. And uh, there's a chance that with that happening, maybe the Young Bucks will get back in. 
since they're not really doing anything with Adam Cole since all of that happened. And so I think Kenny Omega will come back and it'll be like the solidifying thing or will it'll cause a new fight yeah. between Jay White and Kenny Omega, which would be insane. I don't know. In the membrane. There's a lot of uh, possibilities. Wrestling is cool. If you don't watch wrestling, you're you're cool too. But wrestling's cool. It is. Dan Housen and Hook. Dude, that's that was be, so sick. That's going to be a, a really good feud. I hope that it lasts a while. That pop that Dan Housen got when he was like, he was just like, if Dan Housen can't curse you. Then Dan Housen has to fight you and then like pokes him in the chest and everybody was like, yeah, that means Dan Housen's cleared to wrestle now. Yep. He's finally healed so up his cool. leg. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to get wacky. It's so good because he's so goofy, but he's such a good wrestler and hooks really good, too. So that's going to be that's going to be fun. It's going to be an it's going to be a match. fun match. Stoked wrestling. It happens. He did a burp. It was weird. Uh, ladies and gentlemen and people and humanoids and dogs and cats and worms. Of the world. Of the big boys. But not that big bitch market. But not that big bitch market. Uh, Richmond, Kentucky now has a Bucky's. If you don't know what Bucky's, Bucky's is. Beaver is here to stay. <laughs> I fully expect the sound. Um, if you don't know what Bucky's is, you've never been to Texas. <laughs> It's true. That place is cool. Bucky's is freaking awesome, dude. I'm so happy we have one. Uh, I've ate there twice, <laughs> two days. It's been open for two days. Yeah, something like that. It's badass, brother. Beaver nuggets. It's huge. 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 We love Bucky's. We love Texas. They're huge. Huge. And everything's made in Texas, not China. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. It is just like a gas station on steroids, basically. Yeah. It's got 120 gas pumps. Which is insane. And just an obscene amount of food and merchandise. It's sweet. People running up 75 are going to be bucking at the buck. Yeah, man. There's people like traveling all over. It's kind of like yeah. a game to me to like walk through the parking lot and see the different license plates. Mm -hmm. I've seen Wisconsin, <laughs> Michigan, mm -hmm. New York. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can Preach I get a Bucky's? A Bucky's. Can I get a Bucky's? Bucky's. That's us being Bucky's. I love it. It's good. Try Bucky's. Eat it. Let's say Bucky's sponsor us. Yeah, and you and Liquid Death. Yeah, idiots. Bucky's X Liquid Death X Big Boys Talking Podcast. Also, people give us money. Yeah, so we can buy stupid shit like Bucky's shirts. Like, but. <laughs> And then we'll print Big Boys Talking logos on top of them. And so it looks like we're sponsored, even though we're not. Get fucked. <laughs> Unlicensed Big Boys Talking Buckies. And then we'll print Liquid Death at the bottom, too. <laughs> Just pretend. I don't care anymore. Cease and desist us. We're not selling it. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. He has all these wrestlers that you can't see that are off camera to protect him. They're going to protect me with their wrestling. He has Cody Rhodes. He's back, baby. Well, you thought he wasn't going to be back, but he is. You want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the American Nightmare? Do you? Do you? I don't think you do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. That is it all, is all, all I've got, I got, Cody. Cody. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, We played a show on Tuesday. And Sunday. We played a show both days. Tuesday, Sunday and Tuesday, if you're going in chronological order. I'm so tired. Me too, because you also did a podcast on Monday. Yeah, yeah that was uh, so... 
if you haven't ever heard of it or listened to it, check out Dead Air Hardcore Podcast. Or yeah, I think that's how you. Dead Air is it Dead Air Radio? It might be Dead Air Hardcore Radio. Still, I don't know because he made it an actual podcast yeah. now too. So, anyway, uh, look, just look up Dead Air. It's like a drawing of a dude like screaming in a mic, black and white. It's really cool. It's pretty rocking. Uh, awesome dude. He's played our music several times on the podcast, and uh, after. Uh, Literally for two years talking back and forth about trying to be on it. And, you know, then a whole pandemic happened. We finally were on it and we didn't think we were going to even get to do it that night. But the poor guy had worked a 14 hour shift the night before and (laughs) slept in. So Matt didn't end up coming to my house because I wasn't sure. And then like, (laughs) it was like 845. I was sitting there playing Elden Ring. He was like, yo, sorry, I was asleep. I work. I worked a 14 hour shift. You still down? I was like. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Cause he's, <laughs> he's in Tacoma, Washington, so he's three hours behind us. Um, so like, and we went to like eleven thirty. Wow, which is an hour and a half past John's bedtime. Yeah, well, I was sleepy. He was so sleepy. And I still had to make my my night night poo poo and brush my teeth after that too. So I really didn't get to bed till like about twelve. That's crazy for John. Yeah, it's not good. Like, it's not good. Su- Sunday night, Monday S- night, Tuesday night. I got to bed late. Yep. And Wednesday night, technically, because I didn't get to sleep till about 11. Lord. Because I had to watch wrestling. This guy. Because he had to do the poop and all that stuff. Yeah. I, it's, I have I have a very, like, strict regiment before sleep. He's one for routine. I am a routine guy, for sure. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, don't fuck with my routine, bud. Don't have sex with his routine. Nah, just kidding. You guys. Are- you can do it if you want to, though. No, but what would you do, though? Like, really, no. Like, really, though. Like, what would you but do? Would you? What would you do? What would you? What if, what if, um. What if you, and you, and you could just, but you just, and you. What if our teeth weren't always hard? What if they were? They like, were like they were like they were penises. Like nor- like, yeah, like they were like normally like <laughs> soft. <laughs> when you and see when you food, get, they get and hard. when you get hungry, they get hard. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely hate that. It makes me so uncomfortable. Because you'd be like, <laughs> because what do we trade for the soft and hardness? Like, does that, does that mean our penises are always hard? No, I don't. I think it's just it's just a difference in teeth. Oh, okay. But how would you feel if you had wiggly teeth? (laughs) Oh, brushing them would be weird. I don't like that. You'd have to like... I don't like that. How would you floss? Bro, it hurts. (laughs) Would that be stretchy too? I don't know. I'm not sure. You know. Scatty teeth. You know. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I get the flaccidity. It's soft. Yeah. Yeah, Just be like... You can if you know, you know. I wrapped it around my finger three times once. Just kidding. He's got really big fingers. And they're really small. T- <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to say that. It's also funny to say it's big. Big penis Bo- joke. Dude stuff. Dudes being dudes. Yeah. Dudes doing dude stuff being dudes watching Spike TV. No, but really, though, like, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> um, here's here's a fun thing. Um, Open your eyes. I went blank. <laughs> Never mind. Don't okay. remember. I had a little Caesar's pizza there. Yeah, there was a little Caesar's pizza when I got here. We ate it. Don't tell my wife, but I ate some because I was hungry. And we're going to Bucky's after this. Cause yeah, not- Matt ate little Caesar's <laughs> Oh, she's here right now. She just got here. She's here right now, man. I wonder what she's doing. Probably having just gone to TJ Maxx as she did and talking. Talk, they're probably having girl talk. Oh, they're like, oh, my gosh. They're like periods and stuff. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Boobies. Shelby's like, Shelby's like science. And Chelsea's like crafts. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cricket. And they're like, yeah. They yeah. call me cricket sometimes. Does she tell cricket, me? Cricket, 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 cricket. Woo! Cricket. We 
love the chumpy. She's silly. She probably is mad at us. Yeah, she's 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 stressed out right now, man. She's getting ready for the cloud market. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. I work on Saturday. I'm going to that Grill Warfare show after I get off work, which that's doesn't okay. leave any time to come to the cloud market. But I'm also poor. Yeah, that's okay. I gotta do sound for for it, and that's gonna be weird. Are you gonna be like microphone check check one two check? I'm just gonna literally be like play. I'm gonna be like. Oh, man. And I'll be like, can you hear everything? And they're like, yeah, like, all right, play, play. Are they going to be playing Chris Tomlin songs? I don't know. I hope not. Nah, there's one. Uh, one of the girls that played last time, she was cool, and she covered cool songs. Someone died. What kind of songs? She was like, hey, I'm a singing a song. Oh, I love this song. I'm a singer. This is off that album Music. Songs. It's music, yeah. Listen with your ears, feel it with your heart. That's a really music. good song. She sang that? Yeah, I was like, what? Wow. And then I was like, I could do it better. I was like, what? No way, what? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a set. There. I'm gonna do a set. And I'm going to just sing Hinder's Lips of an Angel for 30 minutes straight. I like um, trying to convince people that the song says my cousin the next room instead of my girls in the next room. So he's like, my cousin the next room. <laughs> Sometimes I wish she was you. Yeah. It makes it seem like Hinder is even less um, likable of a band. Lips of an angel, 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 lips of an angel. We are Hinder. Uh, man, like. Remember last week when we were like, we're gonna get stuff together and we're gonna make sure we don't we don't just do oh. if you don't if you can hear that, you probably can't because these a, mics are off. I don't know if it was a rage or what. I think William's getting mad at um at SpongeBob so, Battle for Bikini. Oh yeah, he's getting pissed at that game. I told him to play it on PS4, not PS two, because PS two's hard. Is it? It's harder. The the controls will suck. Going back and playing PS two games now, I'm just like shit. Sometimes I'm like, what? And then I'm like, shit. Shit. Yeah. What if I told you that we could, in fact, do that? We could do that? But what would what would I do, though? You doing that thing you do. Breaking my heart into a million pieces. I don't know this song. What's, and you. What song is this? That's uh, that thing you do from the movie, That Thing You Do, featuring Tom Hanks and the That Thing You Do band. What about that scene in the movie My Best Friend's Wedding where they sing um, I Say a Little Prayer? I don't remember that. Oh, when I wake up. Before I put on my makeup, <laughs> I sing a little breath for you. You know that song? That song's good, about. man. Aretha Franklin, though. Hey, let's get a good, quick applause for Aretha Franklin. 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 Go, Aretha. Um, you know, another good wedding movie is <laughs> <laughs> The Wedding Singer. It's a really good movie. It's one of Adam Sandler's best movies. I love that movie. For I love sure. the little old lady. She's like, I said a hip hop, a hippie, a hippie to the hip hip puppy. You don't stop the rocket to the bing bing buggy. Set up, jump the buggy to the bing to the bing oh. to the beat. Ho! Now Look what? I do not a test. I'm rapping So to good. The um, that movie's really good. Yeah, I love that movie. Love that movie. <laughs> I love. I love that movie. I love um the movie Maid of Honor with Jennifer Lopez. I don't I would, think I've seen that one. I have, I have three sisters. I watched Chick Flicks when I was a kid. Chick Flicks. I enjoyed Bridget Jones's Diary. That was a good one. 
Brides, did you ever, did you Bridesmaids, watch Bridesmaids? Was, was so funny, so good. That is the, literally it's the like, scene where they try where they eat the Indian food and then they're trying on the dresses and they all just shit. Yes, and they're like in the on she, the sink, like she's shitting like, in yeah, the, she's the sink. Shit the she's sink. shitting in the sink, and then she just goes out and shits in the street. <laughs> that <laughs> that movie is it, like it sounds dumb and stupid and like gender class or whatever, but like that's like female The Hangover. It really is. Because, like, there's so much shit in The Hangover that, like, I laugh at, but I'm sure that Shelby, when you rub knees. I like it. That Shelby would be like, that's stupid. That's, that's stupid. Dumb, dumb. I'm like, but but boy thinks it's funny. <laughs> and, and Bridesmaids is, like, the same way. But, you know, I have three sisters, so I'm like, ha! It's good. You got two sisters. I do. We have sisters. We have sisters. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> why, why was that the first thing we went for? What else is good movies? That might be my favorite one. <laughs> um, I really like Dude Weird. I'm so sorry. The, I'm so I'm really, tired. I'm very tired. I'm um, irritated. My neck hurts. I've again. Had a day. I've had a day. Yeah, my neck hurts on the other side now. It's great. Um, oh, I'll say um, a little prayer for you. I got. I finally bought Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. Oh, we should watch that soon. Yeah, I found it uh, on Half Price Books for like seven I bucks. Sh- wow. We're going to watch it. It's great. If you have anything bad to say about that movie, just keep it to yourself. Yeah. Hey, tell us a movie to watch. Yeah. We need. We haven't watched any movies since Scary October time. Yeah, I know. We need to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that. <laughs> haven't done that in a while. That was scary. I can't wait for October so we can get spooky again. We're going to watch bad <laughs> movies again. Mm. It's going to be fun. Um, What about... What about... What about, 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 what I really like, like, like campy action movies, like fighting movies and stuff. Like all the Jean-Claude Van Damme movies and... I like Steven Seagal movies. Like Steven Seagal movies are badass. Bloodsport was so cool. I had, mom had a VHS of Bloodsport because she loved Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah. And man, I used to watch Bloodsport all the time. Dude, Jean Claude Van Damme made the same movie like twenty times. <coughs> like, um at Steven Seagal, but sixty seven times. Like like the movie starts as just like troubled white dude learns martial arts, goes to fighting tournament, fights big Mongolian and or Korean man, wins it all. <laughs> Has a friend movie. almost killed or killed. Movie. Screams in slow motion. If you if you ah! close your eyes and you think about that, you can see all the veins popping out in his neck. Yeah. And then at some point in the movie, he has to do that thing where he does the splits over two chairs and he looks back at the camera and he does the okay sign. <laughs> <laughs> the kick, did you see the kickboxer? Mm-mm, it's it. it's like blood sport, but he learns Muay Thai instead. Ooh-wee. And there's a part where the Muay Thai teacher takes him to a bar and gets him drunk to have him fight people, like for training. And he's like, "Go dance!" And so Jean Claude Van Damme is dancing, and it's the funniest shit. He's just like, <laughs> and then he like starts like dance fighting people. It rules. Oh, dance fight! Check out Kickboxer. It's a good one too. We're gonna watch that. Jean Claude, just watch all the Jean Claude Van Damme movies. Oh, there. What was the one where he played twins? Oh shit! What was Face that? Off. No, no. <laughs> Although that movie's crazy too. That movie's crazy. Nicholas Cage and uh, 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 um, John Travolta. John Travolta. Yeah, that one's crazy. Have you seen John Travolta lately? Yeah, he looks like a vampire. He's he's looking. What about Nicholas Cage? Just doing it big right now. I know that. I really want to see that new movie he's in. Is it the movie where he plays himself? Yeah. And he has like Scared. some like super like rich Spaniard dude. Basically like, come just come on, be yourself. And I guess they get into all kinds of shenanigans. Cause he wants to like act out all of Nicolas Cage's movies. Or something. I don't know. It looks great. It's ridiculous. I'm stoked. I um Shelby and I were gonna watch the Batman tonight. Woo! But realistically, we're not going to watch The Batman tonight. You're going to be seeping. Because it's a long movie. It's three hours. Where's Rachel? The Batman. He's not in this. It's three.
three hours. Or is he? I don't know. Is there a jocker in the movie? That's a lot of mouth sounds. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Does this feel like my father? Does this feel like Amaranth's Twitch channel yet? Was a drinker, and he said to me, "Big boys ASMR." Let's watch the Batman. And I said, the Batman's three hours long. And he said, let's watch the Batman. And I said, Dad, it's it's 3 a.m. in the morning. He said, let's watch the Batman. We used to beat the shit out of kids for doing this in high school. Yeah, I totally identify with Heath Ledger's Joker. <laughs> there was this there was this kid who uh who did that as like it was like a thespian club. Mm-hmm. Like Cool. Uh, you know <laughs> <laughs> You know what thespian is, right? <laughs> like, I thought you, you were like American. <laughs> 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 So he was, so he was one of those theater nerds, and um, sorry, I'm pescatarian. And he did, and he did one of, he did the that the, the my Joker father thing. was a drinker speech as like, at like a showcase of like random stuff, and I was like, his name was Gary. That <laughs> so rules. That just made it worse. Freaking was, Gary. Gary. Oh God damn it! Gary's doing the Heath Ledger Joker again. Oh, we live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> Teams Burger, <laughs> Ronald McDonald. I had uh, I remember taking uh, like drama and theater classes. Yeah, and we had to pick like uh, like a little scene to act out or do. And uh, me and my friend Kevin, and somebody else, we ended up doing the uh, holy hand grenade part from oh uh, Monty Python. God. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Um, ironically, there was like a, you know that band Eat Me While I'm Hot. I've heard of the. It was, it was the Never Shout Never Dude. Oh yeah, he had like a MySpace court. It was, it was it was literally just like a joke band to make MySpace sounding music. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, and um, they have this one song where like as a mosh call before like the ending breakdown. That's it. Just goes. And bless this thy holy hand grenade <laughs> that it may smash thine enemies to bits. In thy mercy. <laughs> you must count to three. No more, no less. <laughs> if you count to five, you count it too far. <laughs> I love it. Just keep it going. Four is right out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If you've never watched a Monty Python movie. Watch them all. Watch them. Watch Monty Python movies and watch Mel Brooks movies. Yes. That is some of the best, like slapstick humor so good and also watch uh oh fuck i just like went blank on his name airplane oh, ah, the naked the naked oh, gun um leslie nelson well, yes watch all rest in peace rest in power baby one of the one of the kings of slapstick comedy so good surely you can't be serious <laughs> i am serious and don't call me Shirley. Dude, the airplane is so the autopilot yeah <laughs> auto <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since the war, I just can't take a drink. I think, you remember Hot Shots? Hot Shots was really Hot Shots too. was great, man. That was like uh that was the first like Charlie Sheen movie I remember. And I didn't like I didn't know how to take it cuz it wasn't like He's always been in funny movies, but he was like back then he was in like serious like because he was in Young Guns. Yeah, at the yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, like like well, like Hot Shots saw, was literally a, a a parody. movie. It was a parody of of uh, <coughs> Rambo, and uh, I love he shoots the chicken. <laughs> yeah, the, unreal. Yeah, that's good stuff. That shit's good. I tried to make Shelby watch Monty Python's Flying Circus because it's on Netflix. Oh um, man, which is I love that show. Um, the ex parrot scene is probably that. And the Ministry of Silly Walks have to be like. Some of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen yeah. in that show. Or like the episode where they promise the whole episode that they're going to be showing full frontal nudity. Yeah. And like, like everyone knew, like the BBC wasn't going to let you right, show right. full frontal nudity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, but she hated it. Oh, I, <laughs> It is definitely like humor you either love or 
where you absolutely cannot stand. I feel like stand. you have to have been a 13-year-old boy or have been friends heavily with other 13-year-old boys <laughs> in order to really like excel past that point and and still think Monty Python's funny because of how dry but like absolutely hilarious it is. Yeah. Cuz they won't say they'll just like sit there and just be like like looking around funny and like yeah. I'm like I'm losing it. Yeah, yeah. But I'll like show it to somebody and they're like When's the joke happen? I'm like, no, it's what, he's doing this with his arms. What do you mean? Shit's hilarious. That's crazy. He has whiskers. What's that mean? <laughs> That's John Cleese. Oh man. So I recently good. found out that John Cleese was in a movie that I like. I don't remember what movie it was. It was like a really like it was like a famous comedy movie that he was in. All those guys were in like like. Top tier comedy movies at yeah, some point. It was like an early two thousands movie too, so it was like when he was getting like older. Yeah, yeah. Um I don't remember what movie it was. I'll have to go and look it up, but I, I was like, Oh, that's him. That's so funny. <laughs> hey. <laughs> John Cleese. Why does kids you know? And if you don't like if you ever watch that, it's all on YouTube. So stop being a buster. Buster. That show is hilarious. Get over yourself. Um there's some bad parts in it, it is what it is. It was a different time. Um It's funny. <laughs> But the uh Ooh, just canceled myself. Yeah, baby. You can't get canceled if you cancel yourself. Um there's a scene that they did where it's like they wrote a letter to John Cleese and they were like they asked him to help them write a sketch. And um the sketch was like they were like set up in this like dinner theater or like this dinner like this nice restaurant and stuff and they were like uh I think it was uh Timmy, like the the goofy one that always plays girls. And um uh, I don't remember what the other one's name is, but he's like the big, tall, dumb looking one, not Trevor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're sitting at the table and they just read a letter that says, hello, why does kids, you know, this is John Cleese. I regret to inform you that I'm not going to be able to assist you in writing a sketch. And they just like pass back and forth the lines of a rejection letter from John Cleese for the rest of the sketch. <laughs> I'd love to believe that he actually did respond, and that's what he wanted I, them to do. I hope so. <laughs> God, that's so good. Oh, rest in peace, Trevor Moore. Yes. Whoa. Dang, man. That's weird. It's so weird. It's so wild. I, um, Another thing that I always loved, I, don't, I feel like doesn't get enough love, is Mad TV. Yeah, Mad TV. Will Sasso. Will Sasso, uh, Bobby Lee. Uh, well, um, I don't know. What's his name that played? Uh, Wanda um, Sykes was on there, right? Wanda Sykes was on it for a while, yeah. There was all kinds. Of, there was actually a lot of Keegan people. Keegan-Michael Key. Yep. I know he was on there. Yeah, he was on there because that's how, uh, I guess like that's why like Bobby Lee's like super good friends with him. Well, yeah, and I think that's when, isn't that like around when him and Jordan Peele like got linked up? I think so. Like, I feel like, I don't know if Jordan Peele was on Mad TV, but I feel like he had something to do with it. At some point, I think so. Yeah, a lot of those comedians at that point were, like, in the show somehow, even yeah. if they were just, like, guest stars just or like something. Just, like, people writing on SNL. Yeah. Like, so many people have got their start writing for SNL. Yeah, it's nuts. I don't know. It's just, there's so much good good comedy shows out there. Yeah. You've been watching Jackass. Yeah. That's not quite as... Uh, Produced and not quite as. Uh... I have to be careful when I watch Jackass because it, <laughs> it fuels my stupid fire. <laughs> and he's like, be I could totally go outside and go down the hill in a shopping cart. I could right. do that. Like, I think about like how funny it would be to do things like that with my friends again. But then I'm like, man, when I did that last time, we were like, not even twenty. <laughs> and I, you have uh, a hurt. You have a bad neck from sleeping. Yeah. I know. <laughs> It's like I watched the like you watch the newest Jackass. Those poor guys, they're older than us, and they're just fucking taking it. They kill it though, man. I, I love it. I just love, I love, I love laughing. It's fun. Me too. It's a good time. I enjoy laughing as well. Like I watch, um, I watch Family Guy. Cancel me. And um, this guy. People don't even like. If people hate that show so much, and I get it. I don't. I don't. It's not that funny. But like every episode, there's like at least like two or three things that make me go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i keep watching it <laughs> family guy for me like i loved it at first but one show the the other show american american yeah. dad still makes me cry 
Family Guy, like some episodes, like, I could sit there the whole time and just be like, there might be one thing where I go, <laughs> yeah. But like American Dad, almost every episode I've ever watched that show, I crack up at some point. I even like the Cleveland show. I thought it was the funny Cleveland too. show was great. Yeah, 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 fucking his next door neighbor that was like the redneck dude, and his wife that was in the uh, in the like the assisted movement chair. Yeah, <laughs> there was an episode where she got like. Where she got trapped, <laughs> like Rallo, the little kid got trapped underneath her, and he was like, she was oh, like, shit. yeah, I know what you're talking <laughs> she about. She had to start sweating so he could slip out from underneath her, and he's <sighs> like, she's like, talk, talk about food, because that's the way she, she's like, say something about food, <laughs> and he's like, uh, shrimp, shrimp with with butter sauce, and he's like, she's like, ooh, butter, <laughs> and she starts like sweating. <laughs> That's so good, dude. <laughs> oh, man. That oh. show, I'm glad that it only lasted a few seasons because it would have gotten really old really quick. Yeah, they, they couldn't have kept going with it. <laughs> but but it, it was good while it lasted. Definitely good while it lasted. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job, Seth MacFarlane. People hate you. <laughs> he still got a lot of money. He does. Speaking of money. Give us some. <laughs> Can I has it? Yeah. Um, no, I was just being stupid as fuck. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleepy and I'm tired and also uh yeah. Me too. I'm 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 all of those things as well. You got to go buckies. I do have to go buck. My man's going to buckies tonight. I'm getting the brisket sandwich. Mm, so good. It's delicious. I'm going to eat it. If you got room, you should also get the cheesesteak burrito. You won't have room, but you should. <laughs> I, so you won't have room, but you should do I it. went ham, and I last night when we went, I got a pulled pork sandwich and the Philly, the, the cheesesteak Was it too burrito. much? Way too much. But I it? ate it anyway. Okay, I could do it then. We can eat the same amount of food pretty much. He just eats it faster. I do. I go. One time I saw him eat a burrito that was literally as long as my forearm i just the secret is i don't eat all day and then when i go in there it's like the only meal i eat <laughs> some say it's an eating disorder we say it's living i like i like it me too dudes what? being dudes that's what this podcast is and always will be and until next time i'm Matt, matthew without a hat for you and this is one, two, three. Big John. Big talking. <laughs> Big boys talking. Big boys talking. <laughs> we rocking. Big boys talking. Got my Nikes on. John's crocking. It might be shocking. Shockin'. It's just big boys talking. Turkeys blocking. Big boys talking. Apple sausage. Big boys talking.